Hello folks, today I'd like to share with you some details about the book Healing with Medicinal Plants of the West. And by the way, if I don't like a book, I don't review it. Okay, so you don't get bad book reviews. You get books that are from my library that I like that I think you're going to benefit from. This one is by Dr. Adams and Cecilia Garcia. Most of the plants are native, but not all. Uh, I like it because Dr. Adams is a PhD of pharmacology at USC. So when he talks about the analysis of the plant and why it's good medicinally, he knows what he's talking about. But I got to give you a little bit of background. Dr. Adams said that he was looking for a medicine person of, among the Native American tribes for some time. It took him two years to find Cecilia. And uh, Cecilia has a unique story too. Her grandmother taught her and they told her as a child, you're going to be the medicine woman. And she didn't really want to at first, but uh, she picked it up really well. And I met her one time at a book fair with, when Dr. Adams was there too. And she was a re she's, uh, she's a remarkable person. She was very intimidating almost. And uh, you knew that she knew what she was talking about, right? There's sometimes you hear somebody say something, you say, oh, I'm not sure. You knew that she knew. And she would talk about the herbal concoctions that she used, uh, all based on this book. It, it turns out that uh, a year or so ago, while bicycling in Mexico, Cecilia got hit by a car and she passed away. Uh, not immediately, but shortly thereafter. Dr. Adams carries on with the book. Uh, you know, when, when he finally met her, he, he and his Dr. Adams' wife and Cecilia had to talk for a long time before Cecilia would consent to working with them, which, which I find a, re it's a, it's a funny story to hear Dr. Adams tell it. So this book is their work, their collaborative work uh, about the, uh, the, the, the uses of the plants from a pharmacological, pharmacological point of view. What are the drugs that it contains and why does the plant work? And from Cecilia's background, why, why were the plants used in a particular way in Native American healing? She mentions things like mugwort, which is good for dreaming because Cecilia always said that when you're ill, you do want to go into deep sleep, you do want to dream, so you do want herbs of that sort also. But you'll find this to be actually a very delightful book. It covers the things that you see all around you if you live here in the West, uh, actually very common things. Beautiful color pictures uh, of the plants you're going to see. Uh, color photos for each plant, a lot of the native background, and it's a wonderful reference to have in your library if you're into the medicinal aspects of plants. So I highly encourage you to get a copy. You can get it, of course, at Amazon or you can get it at our website. Thank you for listening.